What do you think? Well, uh, what do you think is the most, the biggest problem in our society, and whether it be psychologically uh, connect uh, connected to the conversation, or just what do you think would be the biggest problem for our nation or globally? So many big issues. I think. I think it's a lot of just the a mindset that we we have there's this very american mindset and you know i'm you've spent a lot of time overseas in other countries with other cultures that have more of a you are a part of a whole mindset where as americans we have this i am unique i am special and i am above the whole like the average american tends to think that they are smarter, better, whatever, than the average American. It's like, well, nope, <laughs> it's, it's a bell curve, you know, and most of us are in the middle. Um, so I, I think that that just kind of, at least for, you know, American society, Western society, I think that mindset is really kind of like the big downfall. And I know that's very vague and kind of encompasses a lot of things, but that's where we get the, you know, like, other people have issues and their air sh their issues, and I don't want to see them. They just need to get like brushed somewhere else. And you know, like everybody, what you were talking about earlier with everybody just doing doing their best to do their best mm -hmm. and being authentic, and you know, just walk in their own talk. Like we don't do that. I think you put that beautifully with the. Uh the a person in a society they are one a part of the whole or in america where they're unique can you play devil devil's advocate on yourself on that just for the heck of oh it? yeah like do, do i suffer from that mindset a lot as well yes absolutely i do <laughs> do you is there a way uh, uh, that breaks down um if you play devil's advocate i wouldn't know what angle um or i can't think of an angle say to say that one person is a part of a, a whole system, mm -hmm. where does that break down? If I try to think of certain Asian countries where they do feel that they are, uh, China, ah, man, I don't want to say something bad on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you Chinese people to hate me. Okay, let me uh, try to think of a different example. Uh, well, actually here, I'll just cut it out. I, have <laughs> I think the Chinese people, they do have that aspect where they mm -hmm. are a part of the whole, they're one of a part of the whole, but God damn it. They are so, our whole is better than any other whole. Our, 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 our race is better than any mm -hmm. other race. What the fuck is that about? That's, I don't know. I'm not expecting you to answer there that. There was another country that had that issue for a while. Germany? <laughs> Back in the mm, 30, 30s, <laughs> and I had that similar mindset. I don't know how it turned out for them, but you know, love their cars. Uh. <laughs> Huh. Um, um, but yeah, so um, I guess it, it, I think it was, for me, it was very eye-opening spending a couple of weeks over in Asia, um, not mainland. I spent a week in Taiwan and a week in Japan. Um, always wanted to go, just had an amazing, amazing time. Um, I was a freak of nature walking around Taiwan, I tell you that. That was because I'm, <laughs> over there I'm a giant, I'm this pale giant. And, yeah, yeah. Like, literally was stared at. Yeah, yeah. I came out of the restroom in the airport and the lady was going in with the cleaning cart and she just stopped and was like, <laughs> and I was like, what's in there? <laughs> oh, it's me, the <laughs> giant pale face. Um, but to just be in a culture where everybody is not trying to be better than everybody else was really cool. I mean, and, and that's not to say that everybody wasn't unique and everybody wasn't special and everybody wasn't appreciated for their uniqueness. Um, and it, and it wasn't so much of, you know, our country is better. It's just, this is just how we function. Um, one thing that I thought was really interesting about being in Taiwan is it's so clean. There's not a trash can anywhere on the street and there's not a drop of litter anywhere on the street because the mindset is this is ours and we need to keep this pristine and pretty and so you just do you don't just dump something on the ground because somebody else will handle it it's you own your behaviors for the whole and i think that's a mindset that america is really lacking like going from narita airport and landing in lax is like culture shock like 
man, this is why the world hates us because we are loud and we are fat <laughs> and we are rude and we are just all over the place. Like, it's so unorganized. It's like, oh God, this is, I see it now. <laughs> <laughs>